Come onto your yoga mat and take child's pose. Extend your arms out in front, spread the fingers, and rest your head on the mat. Reach your hips back towards your feet and take a deep breath in, feeling your belly against your thighs. And as you exhale, exhale through the mouth with a sigh and let your body feel really heavy. Close your eyes and just take a moment to clear your head, letting all thoughts just kind of melt away. Making a promise to yourself that for the next 30 minutes, you'll just stay present, focusing on your breathing and your practice. On your next inhale, sit the body up, spread the knees, and then reach the arms forward for wide leg, child's pose. It's a little bit more intense for the shoulders, so stay really mindful here. Try to make the armpits really long. Take one full deep breath in. And as you exhale, come forward onto all fours. Knees a little bit behind the hips. And then send the hips forward coming down all the way onto your stomach. Inhale, rise up, peeling the chest off the mat as you push into the hands. Exhale, melt forward. Inhale, rise up. Use your back body muscles to lift you. Last time here. Inhale. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, bend the right leg. Come onto your left forearm to help prop yourself up and then just push the foot gently in towards the butt. A good stretch for the quadricep. Just be really gentle. Try not to push too hard or feel any sensation of pain. Exhale, release and bend the left leg. Spread the left toes as you press the foot towards the butt. Use your right forearm to prop you up. As you exhale, Release the pose and come onto your belly. Inhale, push back into child's pose. Take one little breath here and then we'll round forward. And then we'll round forward to do a reverse push up. So keep your core really strong. Inhale, peel the chest off the mat. Use your back body muscles. Exhale, melt forward. Everything really slow and mindful, gentle on the spine. Inhale, push back into child's pose. Take a sip of a breath here and then round forward. Reverse push up on the knees. So your core is strong. Use the strength of your arms to lower yourself down. Inhale, long spine as you lift up. Let your head go if that feels good for you. Exhale, release. Inhale, core is strong, push back, child's pose. Take a breath here. Inhale, round forward, reverse push up, core is strong. Use the strength of your arms to lower yourself slowly down. Inhale, peel up, use your back body muscles, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, melt forward. Inhale, curl the toes. Send the hips back to child's pose. Inhale, round forward, coming into plank pose. Legs are strong, core is strong. Come all the way down onto your mat. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, melt forward. Curl the toes, knees lift, push up. Downward facing dog. Step your feet up the mat just an inch or two to bring the body into alignment. Spread the fingers and bend one leg and then the other, making any small movements you need to to feel really good on your first downward dog of the day. No tension in your neck. Shake your head yes and no. And when you're ready, round forward into plank pose. Lower down all the way. Inhale, peel the body up. Exhale, melt forward. Inhale, curl the toes, lift the knees, push up with a strong core, downward facing dog. Everything super slow, feel every movement. Inhale, step the right foot forward, come onto the fingertips, long spine, take a deep breath, 
Exhale, plant the hands, plank pose. Inhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, step the left foot forward. Rise onto the fingertips, long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step the foot back, plank pose. As you exhale, take chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, knees are off the mat. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. As you inhale, come onto the toes and bend the knees. Look forward, use your core strength to hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, melt forward into forward fold. Inhale, rise up with a flat back. Exhale, Tadasana, hands to the heart. Inhale, long spine as you send the hips forward and lean back. Use your core strength, let your head go if that feels okay for the neck. Inhale, fall forward. Forward fold, fingers in line with the toes, chin to shins. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Your hands can be on the mat or on your shins. Exhale, plant the hands into the mat, jump or step back, plank pose. Use your core. Inhale, roll onto the knife edge of the right foot and lift the left arm. Push the mat away from you and take tree pose with the legs. Lift the hips away from the mat. Continue to push evenly into the right hand. Use your core strength to lift you higher. On your next inhale, bend the left leg behind you. Grab hold of the foot. Send the heart forward. Arc the back. Long spine. Left toes are engaged. Exhale gently, gracefully. Release the pose. Plank pose. Inhale, roll over to the knife edge of the left foot. Lift the right arm. Right fingertips are spread. Look down at the mat to find your balance and take tree pose with the legs. Push the mat away from you. Lift the hips. Lift the side body. On your next inhale, bend the right leg. Grab hold of the foot. Toes are spread. Arc the heart out. Long spine, no compression in the spine. Push evenly into the left hand as you release. Come back into plank pose. Inhale, chaturanga. Roll up to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Fingers are spread and try not to collapse any weight into the palm of the hands. So plug the fingertips in and spread the weight evenly. Invite the heels to come down to the mat, but don't worry if they don't get there. On your next inhale, lift the right leg as high as you can. Exhale, use your core strength to slowly step the foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, come forward with the torso. Send the arms out in front, hold. Use your core strength, back body muscles. Inhale, open up the arms. Find your point of balance and then lift the back leg coming into warrior three or airplane pose. So spin the inner left thigh up towards the sky, left toes pointed down at the mat. On your next inhale, rise up to standing on the right foot. Left knee is lifted. Use your core strength, try not to lean back. Inhale, take standing pigeon by crossing the left foot over the right thigh, hands to heart. Spine is long, try not to arch the back. Inhale, rise up to standing. Exhale, feet together. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, hands to the heart. Exhale, long spine as you use your core to bend back. Let the head go if that's okay for the neck. Inhale, come forward. Forward fold. Fingers in line with the toes, everything super slow. As you inhale, draw shoulder blades toward each other. Rise up for halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back, plank pose. Inhale, chaturanga. Roll over the toes to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So step the feet up the mat a couple of inches. Bring your body back into alignment. Picture the body is upside down, letter V. 
On your next inhale, lift your left leg as high as you can, spreading the left toes. Use your core strength to step the left foot to the front of the mat. Rise up onto the fingertips. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up, hands to heart, high lunge. Make sure the left knee is directly over the left ankle or slightly behind. Inhale, arms out in front, bring the torso forward, hold here. Gaze down at your mat, find one place to look, find your dristi, and then lift the back leg, spreading the arms for warrior three. Spin the inner right thigh up towards the sky. Picture the body as a capital letter T, right toes point straight down towards the mat. On your next inhale, rise up to stand on your left leg with the arms overhead, right knee bent. Use your core, try not to lean back. Inhale, take standing pigeon by crossing the right foot over the left thigh, hands to the heart. Back is long, shoulder blades drawn toward each other, lean forward. Face is calm, thoughts are quiet. Inhale, rise up to stand on your left leg. Exhale, exit the pose, feet together, knees together, Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Squeeze the legs together, long spine. Sit a little lower. And as you inhale, take the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Both knees are in line. Left knee is not in front of the other. Open up the arms, look up. Initiate the twist of the navel. As you inhale, bring the hands together. Come to center. Exhale, right elbow to outside of left knee. Knees are in line with one another. As you inhale, open up the arms and look up. Draw shoulder blades toward each other. Long spine, knees squeeze together. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold, chin to shins. Fingers in line with the toes. As you inhale, halfway lift, drawing shoulder blades toward each other for a flat back. Exhale, plant the hands into the mat. Step or jump back, plank pose. As you inhale, lift the right leg, spread the right toes. Activate the core, exhale, release. Inhale, left leg lifts, hold, breathe, release. Inhale, chaturanga. Roll over the toes, up dog. Roll over the toes, down dog. Armpits are long. You're not collapsing any weight into the shoulders. As you inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, shoulders over wrists. Bend the knee and cross the right foot over the left thigh. As you inhale, roll to the side so the whole left foot is on the mat. Lift the left arm. Pick the hips up away from the mat using your core strength. Inhale, back to center, three-legged dog. Use the core strength to step the foot to the front of the mat. And then align the heels as you bring the whole left foot onto the mat, parallel to the shore edge of the mat. Inhale, come into extended side angle pose. So the left arm is by the ear, looking up at the left hand. Body is long, knee directly over the ankle. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. You may need to step your front foot forward just a little bit. Pelvis is even, arms are strong. Look out over your right middle finger. Inhale, hands to the mat, left heel off the mat, and then bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot, send the right foot to the right. Left knee can come down onto the mat if that feels good for you and then bring the forearms down if you can. If you can't, use a block or something else just to get a little lower. Remember to always work within a pain-free range, especially in a pose like this, lizard pose. As you inhale, bring the right foot back into alignment, right hand to the outside of the right foot. Inhale, lift up, exhale, plank pose. Take chaturanga, inhale, roll over the toes, up dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, down dog. Take a deep breath in and out. 
And on the next inhale, lift the left leg as high as you can. Spread the left toes. And on the next inhale, take the shoulders over the wrists, bend the left knee, and cross the left foot over the right thigh. When you're ready, turn to the side and lift the right hand. Lift the hips up, push the mat away from you, press into the right foot. Inhale, roll back, three-legged dog. Take a deep breath in, use your core strength and step the left foot to the front of the mat. Bring the heels into alignment. The outer edge of the right foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Inhale, rise onto the fingertips. Exhale, take the right arm up by the ear for extended side angle pose. Look up at the right hand. As you inhale, rise up. Warrior two. Left knee directly over the ankle or slightly behind. Strong arms push into the outer edge of the right foot. On your next inhale, windmill the arms down to the mat. Bring the right knee down to the ground if that works for you. Take the left foot out to the left and take the left hand to the inside of the foot. Come down onto the forearms if that works for you. One side might feel easier, more difficult than the other. Don't worry about it. Breathe. Always work within a pain-free range. Back off if you need to. This can be a really intense stretch, so be gentle on yourself. Inhale, left foot to the left. Rise up. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, chaturanga. Roll over the toes for up dog. Roll over the toes for down dog. Picture the body as an upside down letter V. Take a couple deep breaths. Inhale onto the toes and bend the knees. Use your core strength to hop forward. Flat back, look ahead. Exhale, melt forward, forward fold. Inhale, squeeze the legs together. Utkatasana, chair pose. Arms up overhead, or hands can be at the chest, whatever works for you. As you inhale, rise to standing in Tadasana, mountain pose. Come to the back of your mat. Take a big step forward with the left foot. Take the left foot out to the left about an inch or two. Turn the right foot out so the toes are pointed at 45 degrees. Legs are long, back is long. Inhale, right arm forward. Exhale, left hand to the low back. Press evenly into the feet and feel the leg muscles begin to activate. Inhale, reach forward as far as you can. Feel that your hips are even with your left hand and bring the right hand down to the mat. If the hand doesn't reach, you can use a yoga block. And you can use it any way you like, really tall, really short, whatever works. Maybe you don't even need it. And then inhale, lift the left arm. Check to make sure your hips are even by placing your left hand on the hips and then bring the left hand up to the sky. Draw shoulder blades toward one another. Breathe into any sensation in the legs, feeling the hamstrings lengthen. And as you exhale, go out the same way you went in. Shake it out and step to the back of your yoga mat. On the next inhale, step the right foot forward, big step, and take the foot out to the right a couple of inches. Turn the left foot so the toes are 45 degrees. Inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, right hand to the lower back so you can feel your hips. Push evenly into the feet and feel the leg muscles begin to activate, feel the core activate. As you inhale, reach forward, long back. Keep your hips even. Take your gaze down to the mat. Legs are as straight as they can be. Use your block if you need to. Bring just the fingertips onto the ground or the block. And imagine the hand is like suctioning up, kind of like a straw. So you have this upward pull. Inhale, lift the arm. Look out over the right shoulder. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward. Hips are even. If it's too much for your neck, you can always look down at the mat. And when you're ready, release the pose by coming out the same way you went in and shake it all out. From here, step to the front of the mat, feet together, knees together, Tadasana, mountain pose. 
Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold, chin to shins. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, hands to the mat. Jump or step back, plank pose. Inhale, chaturanga. Roll over the toes, up dog. Roll over the toes, down dog. Last one of the day, make it your best one. Inhale, come on to the knees and sit back. We're going to go into headstand. If you've never done it before, maybe don't do it today. <laughs> if you need some help, you're kind of a beginner with it, do it up against the wall. To prepare, bring the elbows down underneath the shoulders and grab your arms. Make sure that your fingers touch the outside of your arms. Inhale, bring the hands forward, clasp the hands, interlace the fingers. And then look at my shoulders. See this? This is no good. You want to activate the shoulders by pushing into the forearms, almost like you're rounding your upper back. I'll do it in just a sec. There. That's how you want your shoulders to be. Inhale, curl your toes. Keep pushing them out of way. And walk, 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 walk until your pelvis is over your head. Maybe you just stay there for today. Or maybe you can use your core strength to slowly lift your feet up off the mat. Don't kick. Do everything with control. Spread the toes. Bring the legs together. When you get all the way up, come down halfway. Remember, you can still do this by the wall. When you come down halfway, slowly press the legs up. Use your core strength. Check in with your forearms. Make sure you're pushing into the mat. There's not a ton of weight on the head, just a little bit. Most of the weight is in the arms. When you get all the way up, come halfway. We'll do it one more time. Use your core strength. Push out of the bottoms of the legs. Draw the legs toward each other. Inhale, lift, 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 lift. Exhale, slowly, slower than you want to go. Release the legs all the way down. Come into child's pose right away. You can extend the arms out in front or bring them down by your side. Let your arms be heavy. Let your head rest on the mat. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale, press the hands into the mat to lift up. And come to sit down. Extend the legs out in front of you. And then open up the legs mat distance apart. Inhale, reach forward with a long spine and grab hold wherever you can. Maybe the shins, maybe the first big toes. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, melt forward. Don't worry about how far down your head can get. Instead, try to think about your belly touching your thighs. With each exhale, come down just a little bit further. Shoulders away from your ears. And as you inhale, lengthen the arms, look ahead. Exhale, release the pose. Bring the feet halfway back, hip distance apart. Bring the hands about eight inches behind you. Press evenly into the hands and feet and lift up for tabletop pose. This should feel really good for the shoulders. Let your head go if you don't have any neck issues. Continue to press evenly into the feet. Don't let your knees splay open. Take one more breath and exhale, release. You can do that one more time or take the more advanced pose after we do staff, which is where we sit up really tall, picturing the body as the letter L. Feet are flexed, toes are spread, push into the mat if your hands reach. And from here, you can do tabletop again or Pravottanasana, which is where you bring your hands eight inches back behind you, point the toes, and then press into the bottoms of the feet to lift the hips up. Let your head go if that's okay for the neck. Continue to lift the hips. Push into the bottoms of the feet. Take one full deep breath here. And when you're ready, exhale, release the pose. Inhale, bend the knees. Reach down and grab hold of the big toes with your first two fingers. Find your balance on your sitting bones. Draw shoulder blades toward each other for a long spine. Inhale, lift the feet. 
Continue to push out at the bottoms of the feet. Maybe you can straighten the legs. With each exhale, try to get your knees closer to your chest, your feet closer to your face. And when you're ready, inhale, open up the legs just a little bit. Try to maintain your balance, use your core strength. And when you're ready, we're gonna round the upper back and roll all the way back, sticking the toes into the mat. Keep pushing out of the bottoms of the feet so your legs are long. You shouldn't feel any tension in the head or neck area. Keep lifting the hips up. From here, continue to push out of the bottoms of the feet. We're gonna roll forward, coming into a forward fold with wide leg. Inhale, pull yourself down, and then lift. Exhale, feet together. Come to the top of your yoga mat, arms out in front. Slowly using your core strength, we're gonna roll all the way down to the mat. Go slower than you want to go. When you get all the way down, lift your legs, Push out of the bottoms of the feet so the legs are straight or as straight as they can be. Interlace the hands behind the head. And when you're ready, inhale. And as you exhale, lift the hips and the upper body. Go slow. We'll do about 10 more. Give it a little squeeze at the top when you get there. Try not to swing your legs. Really just do all the movement with your core strength. Keep pushing out of the bottoms of the feet. Just a couple more. And at the last one, hold, 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 and release. Slowly lower the legs all the way down. Toes spread. Reach the arms overhead. Make your body really long. And then inhale the right knee toward the chest. Exhale, release. Inhale, left knee towards the chest. Exhale, release. Bring the arms overhead. And as you exhale, lift the arms and legs until they meet. Make sure to lift the hips at the top of the pose. Inhale, release. Exhale, lift and touch. Inhale, release. Exhale, lift and touch. Inhale, release. Go slower than you want to go. Exhale, lift, touch. Inhale, release. Exhale, last one, lift and touch and come all the way down. Make your body really long, point your toes. On the next inhale, bend the knees. Push into the feet until your low back is glued to the mat and cross the left leg over the right. Cactus the arms and use your core strength to send the legs over to the right. This is a variation of supine spinal twist. Look out over your left shoulder. With each exhale, see if you can get your left shoulder just a little bit more down towards the mat. Initiate the twist at the navel. And just let your body be pulled by gravity. Inhale back to center. Exhale, cross right leg over left. We'll go the other direction. Bring the legs over to the left. Look out over your right shoulder. With each exhale, feel yourself just melt down towards the ground. Inhale back to center and come into Shavasana for at least three to five minutes. 